Go ahead. Uh, hello everybody, I'm JT Bird, and this is my paper prototype for my game in Gaming One. Uh, what you see here is the, uh, this would be like the title screen, and it has like a few options that you can uh, choose from to go into the game, you can start a new game, or you can load an old game, or you can go to the options menu, or the credits. And uh, the first thing I'll show off is the credits menu, or the uh, options menu. That would be this one over here. Um, basically in the options menu you have uh, your standard options like your sound, your brightness, contrast, stuff like simple stuff to change. And then the bottom one has like your controls like your movement. And then over here is the attack settings and that goes to your attack menu. And uh, like it has letters above here and that's uh, the letters that you would, or the keys you would press to make the actions work and uh, by clicking on any button you can and uh, pressing a letter, you can change it to whatever feels comfortable for you. And so, after you go through that, you can go back to the title screen. And now we probably want to click New Game. And that would bring us into the uh, first area of the game. And, uh, which is an abandoned building in this ruins area and uh, you'd have uh, the main character he's kind of like he just fell in there and uh, what I wanted to do with the title screen was like whenever you go into a different option you would warp into this like vortex and uh, so this is the first area and so you're kind of like in this like lost or this abandoned city and you don't know what's going on so you come out and try to find out what's going on with this place and so that brings you to this area and you come out of that building and come down to this like square area right here. Now, uh, in this area is where you encounter like your first enemies. You uh, see this uh, girl who's like surrounded by a bunch of monsters, and uh, she needs some help to uh, get rid of them. So you have to come down and uh, combat them, and she'll like come over here, and they'll come up into like the attack position. And that's whenever, whenever you get into a battle, your attack menu will come up, and uh, you'll have uh, different options on your attack menu. That's what these arrows like will they'll allow you to go to the different choices, and uh, like you'll have one choice there that be like your physical attacks or something like that. And then by pressing or pressing in the letter that you selected for this button and then moving up or down in the arrow keys you can switch to a different choice a different option and uh, that's pretty much how that works but by clicking whatever option like your attacks or whatever you can perform a physical attack or like a magic attack uh, the middle one is going to be uh, what I call blipses like a, a signature move for each character and then you have items and like abilities and uh, after you would perform enough damage to the enemy he would uh, vaporize or he would disappear and go away but in this scene uh, the enemy uh, steals something from the girl and he uh, goes away and so you have to help her out and uh, you'll have like a scene where you, you're talking with her and then like a little text box would pop up and you would say something and then she would say something and eventually it leads to you have to go and uh, get the item back that is, uh, got stolen from her and so you go down to the next area and uh, in this area there's like a uh, crater over here blocking your way so you can't go that way so you have no choice but to go this way and then that, that's got to be the only logical place for the, the, the aliens to have gone And so when you get into this area, um, the alien guy, he uh, ran off into one of either one of these paths. I had uh, another one somewhere. I don't know where he, oh, here he is. And the other one like goes down in this way. And so you have to decide which one you want to go after, which one you think's got the item. And so you head that way and uh, take out 
one enemy, and of course the first one probably won't have the item that you're looking for. So after you uh, defeat him, then you'll want to head down through this little area and then over and encounter the second enemy, and you'll continue the, the attack and uh, defeat him. And uh, he'll drop the uh, item. Oh, I don't know where it's at, but uh, he'll drop the item into this tunnel back here, and then you'll have your first boss battle. This big guy, he'll come out here and uh, grab the item that uh, was dropped, and uh, it, it'd be like your first boss battle. And he has a few different attacks, like he is kind of like a mixture of the two other enemies. Like one first enemy could shoot people, the other guy had like a tail attack, and then he kind of has both. He has the tail and he has like the shooting thing, and he can like shoot like an energy blast out of his eye and uh, and it would like shoot at different long range and like different ranges and so uh, you would perform your uh, physical attacks or your uh, magic attacks and uh, eventually it, you would build up a uh, blitz probably for this particular battle to be able to finish him off in some cool way and so after you would uh, beat him you would uh, head back up to the uh, first area where you left the girl at. And, uh, let's see. Oh, here's this. and uh, you would like give her back the item that she had lost and uh, she'd be like, thank you and stuff like that. And that would be pretty much the end of the first area. And after that, uh, she would probably like join your party and you would continue on to other areas and she'd help you to learn more about the uh, the world that you're in now because you have no knowledge of uh, the world that you're in. Basically what's going on is you're like a, a warrior who's chasing after these uh, rogue aliens that came in through this portal and you have to uh, find out more about where they're at and try to stop them and so she's going to help you learn more about where they're at and stuff. and. Uh, help you to help you on your way and you'll help her by protecting her and stuff like that and uh, you'll meet other people along the way to uh, help you out and, and their stories will come in and stuff like that so uh, that's pretty much my game